You might be wondering, what are you doing, Sam? Why are you, why are you once again late for a vlog? And there is no really good answer for that, um, except for the fact that I forgot that I'm a vlogger. So today, I'm gonna go through a list of my favorite movies and and reasons why you should watch them. First on the list, uh, and not only movies, TV shows too. First on the list, uh, Breaking Bad. I am awake. <laughs> Everyone who knows me knows like I'm like a massive Vince Gilligan slash Breaking Bad like fan, and there's good reason for it. I promise. And that reason is that this show is fantastic. I mean, I watched every uh, season in about a month, and holy shit, was I impressed! And I watched it again, and I watched it again, and I watched it again. I've watched it like four times, full, like fully through now. And I can say without a doubt, this thing kept me on my toes. Not only was it like beautifully written, beautifully executed, and it had some like fantastic shots that just really didn't make sense but kind of worked. Um, just really experimental shots that I was like thoroughly surprised worked but not only that they managed to in one wrap the show together um, without too much difficulty without too much you know incident and that was that was cool for me to see the story flow and, and actually work was cool I've obviously been watching Better Call Saul loving it so far up to the last season a uh, newest episode comes out tomorrow night I'm really excited to watch it Oh, well, tonight, when you're watching this vlog tonight. Also, I wonder, I hope you're all having, like, a fantastic morning. It, you know, that's all I hope. Um, the list, number two on the list, favorite movie, uh, like, that I've, I've watched recently, again, um, is probably going to be Jurassic Park. Don't know why, just fantastically written also, and beautifully executed, and dinosaurs, oh my god. That's pretty much all I have for Jurassic Park. Third one is a show, uh, Bojack Horseman, yes I'm sad, yes I'm an e-boy, I'm probably toxic, don't come near me. Um, I have watched Bojack also twice through and through and it's just one of those like animated shows, I'm not a big cartoon person. Um, it's one of those animated shows that's really beautifully written, has a lot of great like relatable content in there. Human or even lizard, our lives are but the briefest flashes in a universe that is billions of years old. See, Sarah Lynn, we're not doomed. In the great grand scheme of things, we're just tiny specks that will one day be forgotten. So it doesn't matter what we did in the past or how we'll be remembered. The only thing that matters is right now, this moment, this one spectacular moment we are sharing together. Right, Sarah Lynn? Sarah Lynn. Comes together really well. Beautiful score, beautiful soundtrack, and also amazing actors. Also has Aaron Paul in it, which is why I watched it in the first place. I'm excited. Um, movie wise, movie wise, I would say that my favorites so far have been The Social Network, um, The Big Lebrowski. Apollo 13. Those are three that I've watched recently. Apollo 13 is just beautiful. Love it. Tom Hanks is a, a legend in that movie. Love that man. Big Le Oh my god. I'm being called in the middle of a vlog. I'm vlogging. This is awkward. You're now here for the vlog. The Big Lebowski was just one of those movies that I didn't quite, quite understand what was going on in it. It was recommended by Frank, but it was kind of like really well done and really pieced together in a story about a guy who just gets mixed up with the wrong last name, and that excited me. Social Network, obviously about the invention of Facebook, pretty cool, pretty quirky, pretty groovy, pretty awesome, liked it a lot. Um, cool to see that Mark Zuckerberg was a prick always. Um, keep pricking, bro. Keep pricking. For a man who started his his website as a hot or not, he sure fucking has a thing against titties. That's all I'm saying about that. Thank you, Mark Zuckerberg. Um, and then another really good show that I've watched recently is Chernobyl, uh, the HBO series. Um, pretty great, pretty awesome. Loved that it walked it through in a realistic time sense and showed like the after effects of it still. But then also high on the list is a HBO show, Euphoria, well written, well cool, cool quirky some flaws 
lots of flaws, cool and quirky. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Thank you for attending this vlog. I'm going to try and actually make a vlog tomorrow.